This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Welcome to Headlines Now with me, Tavya. Well, today is one session of the Assembly certainly to reckon with. On the floor stood not just one, but all parties united against the attacks and killings of Indian fishermen. But however, the pot boiler was Jaya Lalita's poor attendance from the Assembly being sanctioned as sick leave. And back inside the housing scam, Subramanian Swami rakes up more skeletons and is actually seeking to sue Karunaniki. Whether it's the 2G scam or the land allotment scam, looks like the Janata Party chief is in no mood to leave the DMK chief alone. All that and much more is heading your way, but first, the headlines now. Anything such uh, anomalies if brought to the concerned ministries, they will take action. Subramanian Swami targets Karunanidhi over the TNHP scam under fire now. DMK says it will act if misuse of the discretionary quota is proved. It's a violation of section 11 and 13 of the Prevention Corruption Act. Hence, Mr. Karunanidhi must resign. Jalalita bats for Swami's demand that Karunanidhi should be named a co-accused in the 2G scam. All parties stand in unison in the Tamil Nadu Assembly today condemning the attacks against Indian fishermen. It's Jalalita, a model student in the Tamil Nadu Assembly, signing up for medical leave. Amma skips her roster. This young couple from different castes fell in love and got married, but now they seek police protection, fearing threat to their lives by their own families. <laughs> Let's also take a look at the news making national headlines. The young girl is maimed and brutally assaulted in Uttar Pradesh after she resisted rape three men arrested. JP asked the Prime Minister to clarify on reports that ISRO caused a loss of 2 lakh crore by favouring a private firm for Spectrum. Wrong to link terror with any religion, says Pakistan Foreign Secretary Salman Bashir. Pakistan's former President Pervez Musharraf is named as an accused in the assassination of Benazir Bhutto. Ahead of Pranam Mukherjee's meet with the all parties to break the 2G deadlock, the Lok Sabha speaker indicates a debate on JPC. And Pesa Praveen Kumar will miss the World Cup. He has been ruled out due to an elbow injury. Well, a top story tonight, Janata Party President Subramanian Swami is continuing to pull the rug from under the Chief Minister's feet. After targeting Karunanidhi on the 2G spectrum scam, Swami is now seeking to sue the top man of the state, Karunanidhi. Swami wants the Tamil Nadu governor's sanction to prosecute Karunanidhi in a land allotment case. Swam, uh, Subramanian Swami contends that the Chief Minister should be held responsible for his government's misuse of a quota that allows it to give free homes and plots of land to deserving candidates, largely to those who engage in social service and do not own any homes in the state. At fire now, the DMK says it will act against anyone who misuse the government's discretionary housing quota. And on record, the government says no mistakes were made and that it followed the norms of the previous government led by the AI ATM case Chair Lalita. Yes, whatever, uh, al almost all the governments have followed the same norms. So no violations in that? No violations. Because one specific thing he is talking about is how many senior officers and bureaucrats, although they own property in Chennai, although they are wealthy, they have been granted houses, which he says is a major violation. No, that, uh, the, the, it is on the declaration of the uh, individuals that we allot plots. Government is not going to verify uh, every applicant whether they have a own a plot or not is not the government's job. We, they give a declaration and on the basis of the declaration the government allots plots. So, so when, that, uh, so so when it's the, proved they own plots already, in hmm. that case will the government be willing to take action against them to yeah, get the plot? Yeah, yes, yes. That is the normal procedure. Sir, so but uh, just um, adding to that question, in this particular case of what was exposed, this person M. Kannabidan, a class 4 employee, who was allotted two plots by the TNHB itself. Mm. So which means there is, no, there is no need of verification or declaration from the beneficiary. The TNHB itself voluntarily has allotted two plots to him. That's also so, in the case of Ms. Banamati. So, so how is that possible? Yeah, they, that is, they, 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 if it is brought to the notice of the housing ministry, they will take action. 
Yeah, yeah, we will see. Uh, I don't know how they have felt, but anything such uh, anomalies if brought to the concerned ministries, they will take action. However, critics of the DMK, including Swami, say bureaucrats and police officers were the ones who were benefited and that every norm was violated. Fixed rules on what can be done. For example, if you have a plot in Chennai, you can't get it. If you are a high income person, you can't get it. He has violated every rule under that uh, and allotted it to his favored few. And this has become, uh, become very suspicious. It's a corrupt act. It's a violation of Section 11 and 13 of the Prevention of Corruption Act. Hence, Mr. Karnanidhi must resign, as also he must be prosecuted. I have given names of people who don't deserve to get it. Uh, uh, got it. The, well, you will read it. Uh, you say, then, uh, it includes uh, civil servants, it includes judges, it includes uh, um, uh, police officials, it includes a very variety of people. And support for Swami has come in the form of opposition leader J. Jalalita. Yesterday, there were heated exchanges between the DMK and the Janata Party chief after he linked the DMK chief to the 2G scam. Karunanadi had sent a legal notice to the Janata Party chief and gave him an ultimatum of 24 hours. But Swami was far from retracting his statements. And now the AIA DMK chief Jalalita says she fully backs Swami's demand in court that Karunanadi should be named as a co-accused in the Spectrum scam. In her statement, Jayalalitha says that the very fact that Karunanidhi is backing tainted Minister A. Raja's murky deals itself is a clear indication that Karunanidhi was one of the biggest beneficiaries of the 2G scam. Moving on, attacks against Indian fishermen is what dominated the Tamil Nadu Assembly session today and for once almost all the parties were unified in condemning the attacks. Unlike the pre-budget session, when the opposition walked out in protest, this Monday saw quite a lot of active debate within the House. And the regarding the other issue, the fisherman issue, there are a lot of uh, killings and uh, other uh, onslaught of violence against the Tamil Nadu fishermen. And we have suggested to the government that immediately they should initiate for joint patrolling with the Sri Lankan Navy and Indian Navy. That will be the logical step to give the necessary protection which the Tamil Nadu fishermen have been yearning so far. The debate on recent killings of Tamil fishermen allegedly by the Sri Lankan Navy engaged almost all parties. While the DMK regime had already strongly condemned the killing of fishermen in its interim budget on Saturday, members still raised the issue. <laughs> As expected, the opposition turned its gun on the interim budget, particularly on the issue of accumulated debts. From 57,547 crore rupees on March 31, 2006, the outstanding debt is expected to be 1,1541 crore rupees by the end of this fiscal. The government defended itself spiritedly, claiming that its interim budget met all the central norms. In Chennai with Peer Mohammed, Divya Kumar for NDTV Hindu. Well, elected members have to mark attendance like all of us do in our schools and colleges and offices. They too need to have attendance for a prescribed number of days. But what happens if there is a shortfall or a real danger of falling in attendance? Well, learn from our opposition leader, Jay Lalita. She has a reputation of having been a model student in school, never missing a single class. But opposition leader Jayalalitha is now unlikely to get gold stars that her school teacher would probably have given her. She did not attend the assembly session for even a single day since March last year. Rules state that at least once in 60 working days, a member should attend the assembly. Even entering the lobby and signing the register qualifies as attendance. But Jaya did not even do that. The new assembly complex is the reason for Jayalalitha's poor attendance. Ever since the assembly shifted here on the 19th of March last year, Jaya has refused to set her foot anywhere inside this sprawling building. As the 60-day deadline loomed large, Jaya's lieutenants chose the medical leave option. Tamil Nadu, Munnal, Mudalamicharam, Tamil Nadu, Sattamanda, Peravin, Tarpodhe, Yadirkichi, Talivarumana, Purachi, Talavi, Maan, Mihi, Selvi, Jay, Jayalila, Avarilakku, Udalala Kuraivu, Yer Patrulu, Adi Adithu, அவரை பூரண ஓய்வு எடுக்குமாறு மருத்துவர்கள் அறிவுறுத்தியுள்ள நிலையில் தமிழ்நாடு சட்டமன்ற பேரவை விதி 20 உட்பிரிவு 1 இன் கீழ் சட்டமன்ற எதிர்க்கட்சி தலைவர் 
புரட்சி தலைவி மாண்மிகு செல்வி ஜெ ஜெயலலிதா அவர்கள் இக்கூட்டத் தொடருக்கு வராமைக்கான அனுமதி அளிக்கப்பட வேண்டும் எனும் தீர்மானத்தை முன்மொழிகின்றேன் and it was a happy ending for jayalalitha with all the parties passing the resolution granting her sick leave with the assembly elections looming large this summer jaya will need all the energy to take on her opponents at the polls bureau report ndtv hindu and another spectrum scam enters the bandwidth will the 2g scam be eclipsed by this massive revelation find out when we come back Thank you.